hey guys welcome to this video so in this video what we're going to be doing is building a program that is going to allow us to generate a sentiment analysis for an audio so to do this we're going to be using a tool called assembly ai so what assembly ai does is that it's a api that converts speech to text but they actually do a lot of more things than just converting speech to text and one of them is generating sentiment analysis for an audio which i'm going to show you in this video so this sentiment analysis feature what it does is that it detects the sentiment of each sentence in an audio file and it prints it as either positive negative or just neutral so to be able to do this as i said we are going to use assembly ai so what you need to do is to head over to assemblyai.com and i'm also going to drop a link in the description below where you can easily access it and what you just need to do is to click on this start now for free button and you'll be able to create a new account and once you are signed in, it should take you to your dashboard that basically looks like this. And what you need to do is to come to this right corner where you see your API key. Just click on that place and it's going to copy your API key for you. So with this, you'll be able to access their API using this, your API key. And once you have this copied, we can get started with this tutorial. So now what I've done here is that I created two files. One file contains app.py, which is basically the file where we're going to be building the program and the other file is credentials.py where I stored my API key and what I just did was that I imported the credentials file and I stored the API key in a variable named API key so let's move on from here the first thing we need to do is to create our endpoint so because we are sending requests to an API we need to know the endpoint which we are sending our request into so I'm going to say transcript underscore endpoint should be equals to this URL API dot assembly AI dot com slash version two slash transcript and what we just need to do now is to create a response now what we will say is request dot post so we're posting into this particular endpoint which is transcript endpoint and we're going to have our headers and it's going to contain the authorization and this authorization should be the api key also going to have our content type And this content type is going to be application slash json now we're just going to put a comma and then we have to have our json which should be equals to audio underscore url and then this audio url let's make sure this is written correctly what we're going to give it is this particular audio url right here so right here i put this audio url in a comment so this is a 24 minute audio file and that is the url to the file so what we are just going to do is to paste it in there I have our comma then come here and what we need to specify is sentiment analysis since we want to generate the sentiment analysis for this particular audio file we need to say sentiment underscore analysis equals true so now that we have this we're just going to come here and put a comma and what we need to do is to say response underscore json should be equals to response dot json and let's print out this json response So now this is just going to print out the response for us but we all know that once this print it out everything is going to be mashed up together so if we want our result to show nicely we're going to use a library called pretty print so we're just going to say import p print and then right here let's just cut this out and say p print dot p print and in the bracket let's put the j response json so everything is working and what we just need to do we don't need this response 
because this response is a variable so now that everything is working let's just save it and as you can see we are sending a post request to this particular transcript endpoint which is this endpoint right here with all these details now let's run it and see so as you can see everything works successfully it gives us details about the audio file but what we really need to check is where we see id so what we just want to do is to copy this id out right here and then we can just close this terminal basically and then let's just come here and put it in a comment just so we don't lose it so now that we have that in a comment the next thing to do is to basically change this post request to a get request so now what we're just going to do is to come here and remove json since we are not posting anything we basically don't need json again we also don't even need this content type so we're just going to remove content type and right here where we have transcript endpoint instead of now sending a request to this transcript endpoint what we want to do is to change this and add the id so this is the new endpoint which we're going to be sending a request to and this is the endpoint for this particular request which we just sent now we want to be getting some response from this request so we change from post to get we are no more posting anything now we are getting some response from this particular endpoint so this is everything we need what we just need to do is to run this so i'm going to save this file now instead of running this in my visual studio code com terminal right here i'm going to open a new terminal that means the main terminal application on my mac and if you're on a window just open your command prompt and run it and this is because i said earlier that this audio file is a 24 minutes audio file and i said that it basically gets each sentence from that audio and tells us this the sentiment of that particular sentence so for a 24 minutes audio file it's going to have a very long result so i'm not sure if this vs code will be able to you know print all the results without cutting off some so let's just run it and check it out so you see what i'm talking about once i run this it should give me some response so i'm going to keep scrolling up as you can see it stops here because that's the limit in which visual studio code terminal can you know print so let's just quit that what i'm just going to do is to come to my terminal right here which i already have open just open your command prompt if you're on a windows and i'm in the folder where i have app.py so what i just need to do now is to just say python 3 app.py just running like a normal python file and this should print me everything that i need so now as you can see that's a very long response I'm just gonna keep scrolling up and we can also just scroll up from here so this is what we need basically as you can see it gives us details about the audio file everything we need to know about the audio but for the sentiment analysis we need to come down to where we see sentiment analysis result and this is where it gives us all the analysis of this particular audio so as you can see it breaks everything down into sentences so this is one sentence and it says the sentiment of that sentence is neutral and this is the confidence level of that prediction if we come down also we can see another sentence which says my fellow americans this is america's day it says the sentiment of that sentence is positive which is quite accurate and this is the confidence level so that way it does for every single sentence in this audio file that's why it gives us a lot of response so this is a very reliable and accurate api as you can see from what we did and i hope you understood everything we did in this video and once again before you can follow along with this tutorial you need to head over to assemblyai.com right here i'm going to drop a link in the description below and what you just need to do is to sign up and once you sign up you'll be able to get your api key right here so you can use this particular api and they also have a ton of features not just sentiment analysis or just converting audio to text they have like you know generating auto chapters summarizing an audio file a lot of features i'm going to drop the link in the description as i said you can check them out and i hope you understood every single thing we did in this video if you did please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one